could say then uh, the drugs and alcohol might be an extreme example of that, but shopping, overeating, television, internet, material wealth, careers, relationships, even enlightenment. In in light, seeking enlightenment. <laughs> yeah. Might be included in that same yeah, aspect. Yeah, I believe it is. <laughs> yeah, I believe it is too. Mm -hmm. We speak with experience. Right, right. Or self-improvement. Self-improvement. Or, you know, fixing each other in a relationship. Right. Uh, controlling. Right. Um, work can be yeah. uh, a praise, praise, attention, acknowledgement, mm -hmm. you know, daddy's approval. Daddy's uh, approval. Whatever it is for somebody, it could yeah. be anything. We, first of all, define addiction very broadly so that we don't mm -hmm. pigeonhole it so that just, you know, it's only for heroin addicts, mm -hmm. you know, it's for, the, it's, for the, it's for the housewife who can't stop eating cookies also, mm -hmm. you know, so we, it's for the person who just feels like they can't stop thinking. So we, first of all, we want to make sure that everybody's included in this message because... Addicted to thinking. Addicted to thinking yeah. or whatever it is, mm -hmm. you know, could be anything. Just to, so it's basically just the movement towards future based on the, a present lack or the, of the escape from the mm -hmm. negative thoughts, emotions, whatever mm -hmm. our experience is. So, it, it, but really, I, we go into very simple questions in the book like, look at what's actually happening in our experience. And if you see how the whole human condition is kind of set up, it's that we take ourselves to be this story. And because we're, it's always like we're right in the middle of the story, it, all, it has to feel incomplete. Mm. It's like if you stopped a movie, and a Hollywood movie right in the middle, everybody would turn around and say, well, what's going on? Where's the next, where's the next thing? I get, yeah. It hasn't ended yet. So we live in that paradigm. Mm -hmm. So that paradigm is yeah, built sure. to actually continue seeking towards future. As long as our identity is up there in that linear mm -hmm. sense, we're already moving in that direction. And so the question to ask, is it working? You know, <laughs> is it working? You wouldn't be listening to this message if it was. It was working, <laughs> right. And what does that mean? It means that whenever you sort of rehash the past, if you ask people, a lot of what comes up is, there, there could be fond memories and good feelings, but a lot of people experience resentment and anger and mm. uh, frustration, sadness, grief, a sense of unfinished business, like something went wrong, uh, I'm not there yet, or whatever. It's a sense that whatever has happened is not enough because you're right in the middle of the movie. And which t then you look to the other side you say, there's where it is. Mm. It's, it's on the other half of the movie, and that's mm -hmm. the future. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I get somewhere, so there's some concept that gets built up that says I've got to go find this, that, or the other, and that would be what the things that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And whenever I get the, the holy grail, mm -hmm. then I'll finally be complete. But that's never our experience. Right. Our ex or it is for a second. Well, yeah, right, right, right. It's never our experience that we get what we're, there's a sense like we're, we're seeking a sort of permanent satisfaction. Yeah. We never experience that. No. Then you get it, and then you go, well, if I had more of that, maybe, or if I had a bigger one of those, or yeah. if I had a different one of those. Yeah, and endlessly. 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 Yeah. endlessly. It's very exhausting. It is very exhausting, <laughs> and, it's, and it doesn't work. Yeah. Because I think it's, it's built on the assumption that you're going to find the alt, you're, you, that you're really going to find what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. and, but if you ask people, well, is it working? I mean, have you found it? Mm -hmm. And they'll say, well, yeah, you know, like you say, I've, I've got... Mm -hmm. I got a new car the other day, and I feel really good about it. Come see it. You know, it's really yeah. nice. You know, yeah. the Ferrari, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and you get that for a while. And in, in, in a sense, the, the ending of the, the, the seeking ends for a second. Yeah. And you get that, na that natural rest, is what I say. Right. The rest yeah. from looking for that object, and you right. think it's in the object. Yeah. And then, of course, the object starts to wither away. Or, yeah, you know, change. Or change. It's expensive. Or right. And you get a temporary... You might even get something more than rest. You might actually get like titillation. You know, it's like I'm really excited about. It. I feel good about myself. I got a brand new car, or pleasurable feeling, or mm -hmm. good self concept out of it, or something. But because it's these are temporary arisings, they yeah. don't last. They yeah. can't last, yeah. and they never will last. Yeah. So the next, so when when it falls away, we're we're still in the movie now mm -hmm. because our identity is up here. And we have to go back into the real towards the next thing. Mm -hmm. So the whole human condition is built this way. And so if you, if you lay it out that way for people, it just starts to make logical sense. Mm -hmm. And it's good to appeal to logic for someone who's never experienced this kind of teaching before. If you just state logically, you know, is this paradigm working? Yeah. You, you know, this, this is it making sense for yeah. you? Is it working in your life? Yeah. And once they start to see it's not working, yeah. then, then you, you might have an ear to yeah. say there's another way.